Hey guys, EST here, and as you can see, this is a little bit different of a video. I saw this game, uh, I think a trailer for it actually, uh, very shortly after it came out. It's called Green Hell, and it's kind of gamified, but still kind of like a survival simulator game. And uh, I pretty much just watched the trailer, I haven't seen any gameplay or anything, so I thought, let's record my initial reaction. I did jump into the tutorial before just to make sure the game works, and I made it about 10 seconds in, it works, I checked out the controls, that's it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to chop this up a little bit, but let's see uh, how realistic it is, if there's anything, you know, true to life. I don't know what's going to happen. This should be very interesting. Okay, day one. So we, we just arrived. I wouldn't do this ever unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay. Jeez. I'm here. That is hey! a long way down. I made it! <laughs> is everything all right? Yeah. Ooh, birds. You can come up. Um... You do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? <laughs> no, yell. <laughs> Alert everyone and everything to your presence. Now, depending upon, you know, what's in the area, you probably could, you know, scare away things. But if there's bigger stuff that might want to eat you, you shouldn't be that loud. So, you can come up. Yeah. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. That sounds a little suspicious. I bet you want to nap some more. <laughs> I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from you. I mean, who put this anchor in? What's it rated for? Oh, hey, a rock. Um, you know, why Why can't we just go around, go up? I don't know. This, this seemed an unnecessary risk. And sitting there standing and talking on what looks like a slippery rock while you get, like, birds and other critters jump-scaring you while my back is to this and anything could come through here and alarm me... That is just a whole pile of things he shouldn't do. So, uh, uh, we could go this way. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I made it this far into the tutorial before, and then I jumped off here to see what would happen. You could guess. I'm not going to do it, but you could probably guess. All right, let's go this way. Now, any kind of, like, brush like this is a good place for something to hide. Now, it could be friendly. It could be something that normally a predator would eat. Or it could be something that doesn't want to be disturbed. You know, something like, oh, just a spider versus, like, a brown recluse. Now... I'm not familiar with this biome, I'm from Wisconsin, I'm not from tropical wherever this is, but uh, I do know not to just go stomping through there and hopefully there's, you know, not a scorpion or something, you know? Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? So I'm going to skip a lot of the, like, dialogue and stuff for now and the story set up, you know, because it's just about, like, hey, where are we and how do we do it safely, you know? But if you want to see, like, a full playthrough, I can't imagine I won't upload a second video of this because the game's uh, looking pretty awesome so far. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looked like uh, an iguana, but I hear hissing. You gotta watch out. So, I wouldn't go, like, stomping through this and just uh, alert anything that might be like, okay, last second self-defense, you know. Oh, jeez. I heard those are tasty, I think. I don't know. Before you show up to a place, um, know all the local everything. Like, everything. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Oh, that's like a, our campsite, hopefully. Okay. Well... Don't do this. <laughs> don't don't jump down just for the fun of it. Ooh, hey, rock. Ooh, hey, stick. You know, just go around. Like, like everything, when you're not within any kind of range of any kind of medical facility, you know, don't just say, oh, I'm going to shortcut through this. I uh, hope it's not poisonous. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to jump off that because it's a shortcut. You know, it might be, like, more fun, but save that for when you're camping. Hey, speaking of that, wait a minute. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it's useful. It's an oh, it says rope. Okay, it's for rope. Well, found okay, it. Okay, I found the tent. All right, so she wants me to get the campfire started. She's chilling in there. We got some serious gear. We got some canned foods. Uh, we've got all kinds of like dishes and stuff. Like they are glamping. Oh, here we go. Oh, the Lost Tribe. That's right. We're supposed to be contacting like a Lost Tribe. Okay, that's why we're actually here. That's a bit of a unique scenario. You know, compared to, oh, I'm just camping, or I'm my boat sunk and I'm stranded on this island, or anything in between. You know, you probably aren't going to have this level of gear. Those are really expensive, by the way. Oh, look at that. Capybaras, armadillos. Don't eat armadillos. They could have uh, the Black Plague, I believe, is what they carry. Uh, bubonic or one of them. Oh, dart frog, don't touch. No, see, this is the kind of thing you could have read on the trip over, but maybe th they just posted these around as, like, a reminder. Oh, then they, they make themselves uh, immune to it. That's clever. Okay. Oh, we got, uh, audio recorder, huh? That's kind of neat. You know, if, if you're stranded and there's other people, just go make contact. Like, unless they attack you on site or they look awful, you know, gather intel, but, like, 
It's probably not a populated island if you're stuck on a place like this. Although, oh, look at that. Hello. You guys know I'm looking at this. Oh, baby. I bet that's upwards of 600 watts. Now we're talking. Ooh, what else we got? Okay. Oh, yeah, the emergent canopy understory. Oh, if there's a mountain lion, uh, we're in trouble. And then undergrowth, that looks like it'll kill you. The monkey, okay. I would not pick this place to do anything, but okay. Put me on a Midwest mountain anywhere, or a fairly large hill. That, that's, you know, get the bugs out of there. Nice flowing water. Not a big jungle rainforest guy. Oh, those look like uh, water jugs. Okay, so we, we're really like... Oh, hello. Yes, please. Now, one thing you should never do is throw rocks at your solar panel. <laughs> okay, the game's not that realistic, but that was pretty funny. Come on. <laughs> Okay, I'm not just going to completely mess with this whole thing. I'm going to take this somewhat seriously, but this is me we're talking about. Oh, that's right. She wanted me to start a fire. Okay, so it says, uh, go into the notebook, which tells me how to do basic things like start a fire. <laughs> oh, fire might uh, draw unwanted attention. I need six small sticks and eight regular. Oh, look at that. Well, let's start it right there. Okay, just kidding. I'm not going to tell you where to start a dang fire. Like... Don't do it near anything. Don't do it in a wet area. Don't do it in a low area. And don't do it where you need um, to not have smoke. I mean, I just probably put it right about there. All right, she just said that something may be missing. I mean, we're good on the basics, but okay. Hopefully it's not like the medicine or something. All right, so the notes have told me that I can get small sticks from the ground or chop from a tree. Now, here's the problem. If that's a green tree, I am super not burning that, but... I don't see any dead trees, and that's what people always get wrong. They're just like, oh, wood is wood, I don't know. You would have to let this dry for six months to a year, usually, to get it, like, safe and proper burnable. Um, so let's let's go look in here. I would just look for what they call, like, deadfall, you know, something on the ground, or something leaning up against another tree that clearly died, or a dying tree. This whole place looks pretty verdant, so, uh, let's see if we can find that's flammable, um... Uh, I mean, that's a bad place for it to grow, but it's still green. I don't really see anything dead. Well, after exploring for a bit, I don't see anything dead, so I think we're just going to have to have them gamify this. Let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. Oh, there we go. That was a bit dangerous. Oh, wow. That was an amazing hit for it to do that. Let's see. Stick, stick, long stick. Oh, oh I bet you... Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. Okay. Wait, can we... Ooh, okay. Well, obviously it would take more than that, and that wouldn't be the tool you would use, but like I said, this is a little gamified, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of sticks and light that sucker up. Well, I've got all the sticks, but you know when I hear water, I gotta go investigate it. Let's see. Oh, I should definitely not drink this. Look at this. Wait. Okay. Water. Clean. First of all, I just know that. And secondly... Really? Like, I mean, it's moving, it's flowing, okay, cool, but like, I mean, if heavy metals or something toxic or a dead animal or some kind of animal droppings were to settle, it would be like right here. I mean, there's all kinds of like, uh, silt and river, you know, materials, you could get all kinds of lead, I mean, who knows, this, this is where the contaminants would be. Pathogen-wise, is probably not too bad, but I would definitely you know, come off this rock right here, because that's rounded off, it's it's uh, sitting in UV light a little bit. I mean, I would fill it up here, but I would also check upstream first. So, uh, let's hold E to drink and see if I die. <laughs> oh, look at that, gained 40 hydration. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet, but, uh, <laughs> see you in a couple days. Oh, I was on the way back to the camp, and, uh, check this, uh, bird nest. Oh, and feathers. Okay, I mean... <laughs> I don't know many uses for feathers other than, like, arrows, but hey. All right, let's see if we can assemble this. Record time. Well, looks like everything's ready. <laughs> Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to oh, be lacking no. some equipment? No. <sighs> don't tell me. <laughs> yeah, we have no fire. Ooh. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned oh, way. Oh, no. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Yep. I would have... Now, here's the thing. Okay. 
So with all these coming in, they seem like they're, you know, like this would be food, this would be medicine, this would be equipment. What you should do for the ultra crucial stuff is like water filter and fire starter, water filter and fire starter, water filter and fire starter, or like backup food, backup food, backup food, backup food, you know? Don't just say, oh, well, this is the fire starting one and then put everything in there. That is a huge mistake that I see people make all the time. So with the solar there, I would probably just uh, find out where these leads go, unplug it temporarily, spark them, you know, light up the, the nest and uh, do it that way. But you risk damaging maybe the batteries. I don't think it would be enough live. I mean, even if that was 600 watts, I don't know. 600 watts should do it. It's just, is the spark going to be enough? Well, let's see how they have us do it. This should be interesting. A hand drill. The worst way to start a fire. You need a certain type of wood. You need to be good at it. You'll probably just waste an hour of your energy time and be really hot. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Stick or plank and small stick. Okay, I believe I got a plank off one of the bigger ones. Let's see. All right, we got no food. That's always good. And, uh, oh, a plank. Okay, they said something about a plank. There you go. And then we need a stick. Oops. Oh, it says I can't combine these items. Look for another combination. It's probably the smaller stick. You wouldn't you wouldn't really make one with uh whoops, with one this big. Just put it put it back. There we go. Oh, okay, hand drill. Craft well, let's make two. I mean if you're making one, you might as well. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Something dry, you say? Hmm. I wonder what that could be. And by the way, that's the uh, weight limit there. Yeah, you don't want to get too nutty with that. If that's pounds, boo, if that's kilos, boo -ho -ho. somebody's been hitting the gym. Oh, wow, I made a hand drill kit with a 15% durability. <laughs> well, we are rushing it. Okay, this is going to be entertaining. Okay, drag a bird's nest, fiber or dry leaves from your backpack. Oh, I probably could have gotten all three of those. And place it on the fire tool slot to start a fire. Okay. Oh, that, okay, that's like a tool slot. I see. Okay, that, that guy has superpowers, but okay. Oh, before I burn my hand, jeez. <laughs> Whoa, that went up like oh, Mia. <laughs> for, fire for is green wood. <laughs> Coming. Give me a minute. I don't know about that, but you know. They're not gonna sit there and have it? you like roll the mouse what? back and forth so for calm. three hours. You know? I am calm. Oh, we're on day three, okay. So we're we're here to like research and we've been here before. Um so that helps, but don't get, you know, cocky and say, Oh well I know everything there is to know and it went fine last time. There is no infrastructure. Nobody is coming to save you. You have to, like, take everything slower than you would in your daily life. People have lived their whole lives within, you know, civilization, or at least with, like, a fully stocked house or cabin out in the woods even. And, you know, you start thinking, well, the first 10,000 days of my life, I didn't have this, this, or this happen. Well, if it happened out here, you'd be a lot worse off. So, uh, all right. Oh, we got a note. I'm at the village. Oh, she left without me. Great. Call me with radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Ooh, look at that. I like it. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's hail her on the comms. Hello, Mia? <sighs> exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. That is not a thing, but okay. And a macro element scanner. What? Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. I think you already know what I'm going to say about a macro element scanner that can scan my blood with wireless magic, but, um... <laughs> Alright. Okay. Search the tent for something nutritious. Oh, give me that chicken and tuna! Oh, they won't let me pick it up because... They're... Ooh, that's an actual brand, Supreme. It's not terrible, a lot of sugar, but, you know, hey... Good shelf life, I think. Actually, there's chocolate on it. Eh, I'm on the fence. I don't mind the taste of them, though. I would bring those, like, ultra-dense ones that uh, FEMA has or whatever, but I've heard mixed stuff about those. Oh, look at that. Two carbohydrates, 30 protein. Oh, that's what it was measuring. You would need an entire lab to measure that, but okay. <laughs> hey, look! I'm good on macronutrients with wireless magic. <laughs> so if you don't have a magic technology that doesn't exist, watch, which you probably don't, um, you'll probably have to just say, like, just, just sit there every hour and think, how do I feel? Like, does my skin feel clammy? I'm dehydrated. Do I feel tired? Do I lack focus? Am I sleepy? You know, 
you, you got to be in tune with that because during a normal day, you're just like, oh, I'll just eat some, I'll just this, I'll just that. Well, the amount of physical exertion while doing something other than like working an office job for eight hours a day and then, you know, chilling at home is a lot different. And even the air is different. The climate is different. How much you sweat will be different. Your like thyroid can adjust to different temperature outputs and metabolisms at a different, you know, completely different food supply. And is there too much like salt in, in the tuna and, you know, just all the stuff you got to pay attention to, because if you start getting like unbalanced in any way, it's gonna make you be in a bad mood and you're going to start to spiral if something worse happens, you know what I mean? So you got to pay way more attention than you normally would in your daily life when you've got plenty of food, plenty of sleep and plenty of everything. All right. So apparently I'm here for the, you know, local wildlife, but uh, they want me to read this, which <laughs> I already did, pretty much. It's all all assembled on the corkboard, though, which is kind of nice, because I read them around the place before, but I just want to see that capybara again. Those things are cute. Oh, and there's a tapir. Okay. Cool. Oh, we're in the rainforest, it says. Rainforest. Okay, I was wondering where we were. I would have guessed maybe Caribbean or off the coast of Africa, <laughs> but like I said, I'm from Wisconsin. There ain't no pine trees out here. Oh, look at this. It does different things. Oh, we got a compass. Okay, that's good, because they said... Uh, let's see. North side of the camp after climbing a rock, which, once again, really don't do unless it's absolutely necessary. If he's just getting a plant sample, I don't care if he takes two hours to walk around. Stop climbing with nobody around. I did skip this part, but she is, uh, off in the village making contact with the village people. I assume she's talking to the construction worker, and I had to make that joke. Come on. All right, so let's go north. All right, we're going that way. Oh, I think I was just up here, actually. Now, sprinting for no reason is something you shouldn't do for about a thousand different reasons. Oh, that's probably it. Really? I'm going to walk around. I'm going to take my own advice. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> really? Yeah, that goes a ways. Okay, I can see why he did it. I don't think it's a smart idea. Whatever, it's a game. They're just going to show me the climbing mechanics, obviously. Oh, there! look at that. I <laughs> Cool. All right. It's kind of a nice rope, though. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we can get to the tobacco up here pretty quick, and I'm sure... Oh! Okay, I was mostly joking before. I might have to censor that little bit of language. <laughs> I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. I cannot believe that happened. Are you okay? Well, I already saw my, my arm don't look great. Oh, hold C and then do inspection. Oh, I bet it, okay. Oh, look at this. Wait, oh, rotate? Wait. Oh, oh, that is, that is just the best thing I've ever seen. Let's see, how do you switch to... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh... That's definitely not that good. That is definitely not good, is what I was about to say. Let's see what else we got. Um, huh. Why did I, like, land on my arm? What did I hit on the way down? <laughs> Wait. Hide armor. Show armor. Oh, I should have been wearing armor. I didn't know, I didn't know the game was going to go that direction. Okay. Something tells me I'm going to be fighting the village people. All right. Oh, that's right. She said call her. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Wait. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. Yeah. You need to patch everything yeah. up. Do you remember how to do it? It's pretty high, but hey. He should have a broken rib or something, but, you know, whatever. Yuck. Yes, <laughs> I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. Oh. What is that? That's it. Yeah. Okay, I'll go look for it. Oh. You should have nice. it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna punch the plant. Okay, I should I should probably try to equip the machete. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh look at this. Oh that's funny. Oh and I already collected them, okay. Oh. Uh, let's get back to camp, because you shouldn't, you know, do sensitive medical operations just out in the middle of the jungle when anything can ambush you. Nice area like this, or a nice area like this would be ideal. I sure hope he washes it. They should have some alcohol around here, just some basic rubbing alcohol, or uh, better yet, uh, hydrogen peroxide is a little bit better for that. 
Okay, it, it doesn't say anything about antibacterial or anti-anything. It just says the leaves are good for crafting bandages. Yeah, they're probably good for, like, wrapping up a sandwich, too. Like, it's just leaves. Oh, sanity and hallucination. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going deep on this. This game's wild. Consuming an item with a natural anti-stress component increases sanity. Oh, we gotta go find some chamomile. Get wrecked on that. Oh, here we go. Okay, dressing covers wound and protects it from infection. No, you want to disinfect it first because he hit the ground and probably got dirt in it. Look at his arm. Oh, this is almost bad advice. But like I said, some stuff they gamified and some stuff they made really real. Like, absolutely jump scaring me with falling off that uh, rope. I really, really did not think that they were seriously going to do that. That is hilarious. Are you serious? That would get infected so quick without any kind of... Like, you almost wouldn't want to cover it. You would just want to, like... I don't know. If it's actively bleeding, I, I'm on the fence. I would say natural scab would be better than some random leaf you found on the ground. <laughs> Contaminated with who knows what from the soil. Uh, I don't know about that. But if it was a known disinfectant plant, okay, but you better be darn sure. And you better change the dressing way more often than if it was, um, like, sterile gauze. You know what I mean? Oh, day 32. We're skipping Jake, way ahead. Please come in. Uh-oh. Jake, I need you here. <laughs> Jake, please. Please answer me. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Mia, what happened? Okay, we're heading out. Mia, speak to me. Mia. Wait, I actually don't know what direction. Don't just go what running off into the woods. Uh-oh. Okay, I got a machete. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, this is the tutorial. Oh, cutscene. I assume he knows where the village is. They did say they've been here before. Okay, there it is. fight versus run I'd run but you got to be darn careful you want you don't want to um, run away from the threat you want to run to safety if possible there's a slight difference but if you don't know where you're going and then don't get lost don't lose track of the you know the tent and you know you can find yourself out where you're just like I don't know where it is that's why you go around memorizing landmarks I could say all kinds of stuff about that but I have a suspicion that that was the end of the tutorial hello Oh, it was not. Jake, what the hell is going on there? Oh, come on, speak to me, Jake. I bet you saw me. I spun this. Oh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I bet his leg ain't doing so good. Okay, all right, let's go. Oh, that's the end of the tutorial. Okay, I see how it is. All right, well, that's a bad scenario right there. But that, see, that's like real though. Like I, he got up, which is shocking after he landed on that. But I bet he's bruised up, not feeling good. Um, after an injury like that, don't just say, "Oh, I can walk." I mean, I'm sure the adrenaline wore off because he woke up like almost hours later. It looked like, but um, you gotta assess, you know, basic concussion protocol. Um, check everything. That's why I think that inspect thing where you check all your limbs and all that is kind of interesting. But uh, the first thing I would do is get back on the comms and be like, hey, what what was up? Get out of there. I'm injured. We just, we got to bail. We got to get out of here. Because he was obviously being chased by some kind of tribesman. I mean, that was an unfortunate series of events with like the slipping and the falling and all that. But, you know, they could probably make their way through the jungle better than you can. So it's, that's just a bad scenario all around. He probably shouldn't have just charged in. But I don't think he just like ran into the camp without knowing what's going on. It was just like, hey, let's solve this and maybe get ambushed on any side with no backup. You know, and limited weapons. That, that's just stupid. If you can't do anything, then don't run in and fail to do anything, you know? Unless it's just like, oh, they just put an arrow through my arm and I'm about to die. Well, still, I would take maybe 10 seconds and 
creep up to the edge of the camp or something, you know, but that's more about tactics and less about survival, but but it could apply to, you know, somebody getting attacked by a bear too, who knows? I mean, see if they got away, what you're willing to do, how much risk. I mean, I think these two are married, so I know what I would do. <laughs> But run in blindly, I don't think that's going to help anyone in almost any scenario at least gather intel for a couple seconds. It's going to feel like forever, but it, you're going to do better. But don't get injured in the jungle while madly chasing, you know, something because then you're less help and you're the only help is what it sounded like. Although she sounded fine later, so I am very interested to jump into this game, but I'm thinking uh, might cut it for this video. But if you want to see more of this game, oh, I am going to play the heck out of it. So uh, I can't wait to see how realistic this gets. It should be entertaining. If you liked it, leave a like. And maybe check out Green Hell yourself. It's not sponsored. I paid for the license myself. So uh, I don't know. If you like it, uh, buy it. If you don't, don't. It is on sale right now. It's under 20 bucks, And it has really good ratings. So, uh, oh, I'm excited about this. There will probably be more content about it. Thanks for watching in the meantime. And I'll see you guys next time.